Now that looks like NASCAR Camping World Truck Series youngest winner, Eric Jones. What's up, man? Oh, I was hanging out, looking at some race cars. Now listen, you are just turned 18, right? Yeah, just, just. When did you start driving race cars? Uh, actually, when I was seven. Uh, seven years old? Yep. First time behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. The funny thing about being a kid when you start to drive is a lot of us you know, think we're race car drivers when we first get our license, except that you actually were. As a race car driver, you focus the entire time on the race in front of you, right? I mean, is that the same approach you take to driving on the highway? Yeah, yeah, very similar. I think some of the things you can apply from the race, race car to the street, uh, being focused is pretty important, obviously. When, when you're taking your eyes off the road for any reason, you're, you're losing sight of where you're going at that speed. What's the biggest lesson that you learn from watching your parents drive? They've always really been good drivers, um, and, and looking up to them and how they do things is, is really what helped me. So, like, they always told me coming up to an intersection, make sure you look both ways before, even if it's green, you know, green, everybody's gonna stop, right? Well, even now, like two years after I've been driving, you start doing it, it's like, you can't trust anybody on the, on the road. So, the biggest lesson that I learned is, is just being smart about it. You know, you're not driving on the road, it's not a big game. It's something my mom taught me, and, and, and really just slowing everything down, and you don't have to go fast, you don't have to brake hard on the street, you don't have to get to the stop sign fast, and that was something she kind of taught me. Good pause there. Yeah. Look at you. I know. Checking all directions. Mm -hmm. And look twice, right? Look twice. My dad's all about that. Look twice. Do you have a lot of friends that are still texting and driving and don't seem to get how dangerous it is? Most of my friends, actually, I'd say uh, text and drive or, or tweet and drive, whatever. So it's a big distraction when you're trying to open up an app or whatever on your phone and then get into it, refresh it, look at it, read it. It, it takes your eyes off the road for, for a long time. When you're going 50, 60 miles an hour, that's, that's a lot of ground that you're covering in that time. So I don't think people really grasp how much uh, you're not seeing when you're looking at your phone. So it's a lot more serious than people realize. What do you think are the top three things that teens should be doing behind the wheel? Um, I'd say paying attention, not texting, and uh, just not speeding. Uh, I think if you follow those three things, I think that's uh, a pretty simple three things that you can follow to be a, a lot better driver than, than maybe you are today. Parents, pledge to be the driver you want your team to be. Take the safe driving pledge today at teendrive365.com.